Hey, party throwers, for those of you who are interested in using this instant download on Paperless Post, here is the way you do that. Go ahead and go to paperlesspost.com after you have purchased the instant download and have saved it to your desktop. Because this is a birthday invitation, I'm just going to make it easy. Click on birthday, go all the way down and do all birthday invitations. Click on that and then check the free option. We like those. Choose the card, either the vertical or the horizontal layout that's best or that fits your invitation that you have downloaded. So I'm going to do the vertical option. So click on the upload your design right here, and you can go ahead and start customizing it. You will not need a backdrop. So you can just do that is this outside space. If you want to spend a little bit more money, you can do something crazy um, that might go with your invitation design, but just know that it will cost coins um, on paperless post. So I'm just going to do the free one because it doesn't really matter. So we've got the backdrop done. Now we're going to upload. I just clicked on the invitation and clicking add photo. I'm going to select my cat quick card file that's on my desktop and there it is. All this text right here that you see is going to be editable so you do not have to worry about that for right now. Let's go to envelope liner and actually let's go ahead and edit this information. So I'm going to highlight this and delete it and go ahead and put in my party's details. So we're going to celebrate Georgia's fifth birthday and I have this all in caps. So I'm going to go back and change that. Georgia's fifth birthday. Now the details I do know I want all in caps. So I'm going to do Friday, August 8th at 2 p.m. And it's going to be at the Henderson home and I'll do an address. And then RSVP to gmail.com. Usually this is the information that you would want to include. So what the party is, the date, the location, and then RSVP details um, on there. What's great about this is that you have the ability to format this how you want. So I'm going to go up here to formatting. I went ahead and increased the size a little bit. I know I really want this in a nice girly font. So I'm going to choose this Monterey font right here. And then for this, I just want a simple sans serif font. So I'm going to choose the Futura. Great. Then I'm going to go back into this formatting. I might change the size a little bit. On this one, I like to space it out a little bit this way and increase the line height as well. And I might make this a little bit bigger too. I want to change the color of this. There are hundreds of colors, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to do black and I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. There you go. So right now up here, it says two coins per recipient is what it's currently costing. And that's because it has an envelope attached. So if you go down, once you've uh, customized this and entered your information here, go to other options and let's see, uh, let's see, let's go to text, enter the details. There we go. Go next and click delete this envelope and it will save it where it does not have an envelope nor an envelope liner. Those are things that you can add if you want to purchase additional items for or from rather paperless post, but it is not necessary. So right now it's just the card and it is free for up to the fifth for the first 50 recipients. So go ahead and go through this.
This is how your invitation will appear. Your guest name will go here and then they'll do the will attend, will not attend. It's kind of like Evite in that you can kind of control your guest list. Then you enter your information and go to next. You can do all of this pretty easily. So it'll show up, event name, it's gonna be Georgia's fifth birthday, virtual location. You can enter the location in here. Like I said, it's gonna be 78 Walsh. We're just gonna say it's this. The date is gonna be August 8th at 2 p.m., not a.m. And then we can show the guest list. You can add a comment wall and then click next. And there you have it. Then you enter your guest name. So let's just say I'm going to send it to myself first. You can do that. Let's say I'm inviting two people, add guest. husband I guest and there he is so send now and for the first 50 recipients it is free you can also send me a test to make sure everything looks good